For years, we've had watches that told us how far we ran, how fast we went, and what our heart rate was. But now with AI, it's starting to predict why those things happen and what your next move should be. We're in this really interesting moment right now where technology and running isn't just tracking what you've done anymore, it's starting to help you decide what to do next. Today I'm joined by Jamie, one of our strength and conditioning coaches here at Coach Perry. Jamie is currently doing her masters in sports science and we're diving into how AI is changing running faster than most people realize. Most runners still think of AI as something futuristic or complicated, something for Silicon Valley, not Saturday long runs. But when used the right way, AI can help you train smarter, recover better, and yes, actually run faster. It's not about replacing coaches or ignoring experience. It's about combining decades of running wisdom and cutting edge data that helps you make better decisions in real time. And that's exactly why we need to have the discussion, Lindsay. I'll be honest, a lot of runners are skeptical. They're thinking, AI in running, how is that going to make me faster? And let's start right there. How exactly can AI make someone become a better runner? Yeah, it's a great question and I get it all the time. AI isn't magic. It's not some robot shouting intervals at you. What it does really well is interpret the data your body already gives you. Things like pace, heart rate, recovery, and sleep and then it translates it into smarter decisions. So instead of just tracking how you performed yesterday, AI helps you predict how your body will perform tomorrow. It's like having a coach inside your watch who's constantly checking in. Hey, your heart rate's still elevated from yesterday. Maybe hold back today. Or you're fresh and recovered. Let's go a bit harder. That kind of feedback takes years for most runners to figure out intuitively. AI speeds up the learning process. So it's almost like having data-driven intuition, but how accurate is it really? Because I know data can lie. If you have a bad night's sleep, for example, you forget to wear your watch, then all of a sudden your recovery score says that you're falling apart. Exactly, and that's the key. AI is only as good as the data that you feed it. If your watch is loose, if you skip tracking, or if your sleep data is off, you're going to misread your signals and give you inaccurate feedback. Garbage in, garbage out. That's why I tell runners, don't treat AI like a fortune teller. Treat it like a mirror. It reflects what you constantly show it. The more accurate and consistent your inputs, the smarter the feedback becomes. And keep checking the advice against your own experience. Make notes, especially when you ignore the suggestions around changing workouts and intensities. And importantly, ensure that the tools you are using to measure the data are doing so accurately and repeatably. That makes sense. But say I'm a runner and I've been training for decades. I know my body and I know when I'm tired. Why should I trust AI to tell me what I already know? because you don't always know, at least not objectively. Even seasoned runners fall into the ego training. You feel tired, but still push through because you think you should be able to handle it. AI doesn't care about your pride. It looks at the physiological signals like heart rate variability, resting heart rate, sleep cycles, and says, nope, you're not recovered. And that's huge for runners over 40 or 50, where recovery becomes the limiting factor. You might feel okay, but your body's telling a different story. AI helps you listen before you cross the line into injury. And let's be a little honest. We all think that rest when you are tired or cut back when you need to applies to someone else and not to us. So it's a bit like a brutally honest trading partner. Exactly. One that doesn't sugarcoat, like your own Kirsten Lehmann's. He's my former training partner. <laughs> okay, Lindsay, but let me play devil's advocate here. Some people feel like AI takes the feel out of running and it becomes all about numbers and algorithms. Is there danger of losing that intuitive side, so the real art of running? That's totally fair. And honestly, that's the biggest misconception. AI doesn't replace intuition, it strengthens it. Here's how I explain it. Think of AI as a translator. Your body is constantly speaking in data. Heart rate, fatigue, pace variation, sleep quality, but most runners can't interpret that language. AI translates it into plain English. You're under-recovered or you're ready to push. So it actually helps you to learn your own body faster. 
over time, you start to feel what the data is already showing. You're not outsourcing your intuition, you're sharpening it. We all have those should I, shouldn't I moments. Am I genuinely wrung out or being lazy because I had one bad night's sleep? AI will help you and your coach make better short-term decisions so that you can learn better for your long-term consistency. It's a nice way to put it, but I wanted to ask you something. You mentioned recovery. You said before that most runners don't slow down because they're lazy. They slow down because they don't recover properly. So how exactly can AI help someone improve their recovery? Well, that's where it gets exciting. AI tools can analyze small changes in your physiology. Things like morning heart rate, sleep depth, muscle oxygen levels, and then flag when recovery is off track before you feel it. For example, by keeping a record, AI will remember better than you do that the last time X muscle was tight or sore, we did not adjust and ended up injured. It will remind you when you are about to repeat mistakes you've made in the past. On a physiological level, if you've had a few bad nights in a row, you're feeling a bit tired, but nothing you can't handle, AI will track all the data you've been measuring. Your watch here is the limiter, but most of your watches will do HRV, resting or current heart rate, sleep hours, depth, duration of sleep phases, and they will be able to then tell you just how tired you actually are today. One of the top three reasons for injury, particularly acute injury like a pulled muscle, is mental fatigue. Your AI tracker can help you avoid making that mistake. So it's catching the warning lights before the engine overheats? Exactly. And it's not just about recovery, it's about timing. When your recovery data says you're ready, you can push with confidence, knowing your body can actually handle it. That's how runners over 50 can keep improving without breaking down. I love that. But I can already hear runners saying, okay, Jamie, this all sounds fancy, but I'm not a tech geek. How can I actually use this stuff? You don't need to be a tech geek at all. Start simple. Use the tools you already have. Your GPS watch, your phone, your training app. Sync your runs, track your sleep, and monitor your recovery. Once you've got a few weeks of consistent data, AI systems start spotting patterns, like you perform best when you sleep eight hours, or your long runs go better when you eat carbs the night before. It's about awareness first. You don't need to understand every metric, you just need to notice the patterns. So it's more about being consistent rather than being clever. Exactly. Consistency beats complexity every single time. And once you've built that base of understanding, that's when you can start fine-tuning things like pacing, fueling, and strength work. That's a good point. And speaking of fine-tuning, we're seeing more and more older runners using AI-based training platforms. Why do you think it's such a big deal for runners over 50 specifically? Because that's when recovery becomes the limiting factor, not effort. When you're 25, you can train hard, sleep little, and still bounce back. But once you're 50, your body's ability to recover slows down. AI helps you balance that equation. It makes sure your training load matches your recovery capacity. That's how you stay consistent year after year, which is the real secret to running faster as you age. And if you're a runner over 50 watching this, we've put together a free masterclass called Faster Beyond 50. It shows you exactly how to use tools like AI and smart recovery strategies to train efficiently, stay injury free, and keep improving. Scan the QR code on screen now or click the link in the description below. I've got to say, I've seen athletes who are plateauing for years suddenly start improving again once they learned how to use their data properly. Exactly. It's not about training more, it's about training right. Okay, Lindsay, the final question, because I know people are going to ask this. Do you think AI will ever replace human coaches? No, I do not. I can't see a day when AI has enough empathy to always make the right decision. I also think there will be a limit to the accuracy of the data, which will mean that AI will always have a valuable opinion, but that some thought needs to be put into the final decision. And AI will never be able to feel either your emotional or physical discomfort or lack thereof. 
So there must always be room to decide when AI should be ignored or the degree to which changes should be made. 100%, Lindsay, that makes sense. And if you can learn to use both your own data and your own instincts, you'll train smarter, recover quicker, and stay faster for longer. So, if you want to know how to use this kind of data to build your aerobic base and actually run faster at a lower heart rate, click on the video on screen now. It's a full breakdown of how we use science and structure to help runners perform better with less effort. Use AI, use data, but most importantly, use them to listen to your own body. That's the combination that'll keep you running stronger and faster for years to come.